All right, in this video, I wanted to talk about some buggy interactions um, with uh, some regeneration items. Um, some people may know the bug between, I don't know if it's really a bug, but just the way it interacts. It's, it's okay, catnip senses. So it's a quick cast. You can cast it as many times as you want, provided you have the SP. You have your plus 20 immobility resistance. Some people use it to avoid being stunned or um, things like that in, in boss fights and stuff. But you have two rounds of uh, power one or power 0 0.1 regeneration. Um, just to give you an idea what that looks like. Let's see here. So we're going to get, we're gonna attack. So we get 38 hit points for two rounds. That's pretty bad. If you take that and then you go on top with Healing Branch and then you do the Curative Waters, it also will do a regeneration. Um, so now we're going to change that to 8 rounds of 0 0.1. So you're extending the rounds. You could do it again. Now we're at 15 rounds of 0 0.1. So it's not that great. But I've talked about the Shadowren membrane shield before. It's one of my favorite darkness shields. I think a lot of people sleep on it. Some people, even though I've showed what it can do, still don't like it, which um, that's a head scratcher to me. Um, just by just uh, doing the shadow ran membrane, we're already at 0.68. So if you know, if you remember, the other ones were at 0 0.10. So this shield is already much better, and I will actually demonstrate. So we're at four rounds at 2.7 power. I will attack. And then I healed from 33 hit points to 1140. So we'll do that for four rounds, right? So we're at 2.7 power. But then I can actually go back to healing branch and then do curative waters and we'll actually add all the rounds while keeping the power. Could do it again and again, and it's just gonna add rounds while keeping the power. If you notice, it's still 2.7 power. So, again, you can set this up, get around 1,000 heal, there's 1122. So, I've got 16 rounds now where I can heal 1k per round and I can actually get this down to one or two rounds and I'll just break, break out healing branch again and just add rounds without changing the power. You just have to set it up with this guy first and if you want to you can continue adding the power like that and it'll just increase now I'm at to 1300. And then using the Creature 72 in phase, obviously I can just sit here and do this forever. Go back and do this. We're now at a 3.24 for 15 rounds. Again, if I want to just use a healing branch, just skip a turn just to add a bunch of rounds. As you can see, 20 something rounds. So you don't even need the catnip senses. Uh, some people like 
I may have used it with this but it's not necessary because like I just showed you you can do as many rounds as you want you could do this to the point where you get 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 heal So there you have it, the combo of Healing Branch and Shadowrun Membrane Shield um, is basically infinite healing, um, especially if you're able to regenerate your SP. So I'm basically at a point where I every round I'm healing my MP, SP, and HP with this combo. Um, you can essentially maintain. Um, maximum resources at all times as we all know this can lucky strike with optico and then you're just infinite resources there you have it